Hello, I'm Auntie Kate, and I'm standing on my veranda. And we all know what that means. It's time for our Sabbath school program. Come along with me. Do you know that if you're a part of God's family, that means you should be honest? Mm-hmm. The Bible tells us that thou shalt not lie, that we should be honest and outstanding citizens, not just here on earth, but also when we get to heaven. Being a part of God's family is a wonderful thing. Hello everyone, I'm Auntie Kay, and welcome to another Children's Sabbath School program. Yes, I'm not on my veranda, nor am I in Auntie Karen's garden, but I am in the Hilby Seventh-day Adventist Church right here in Nassau, Bahamas, and there I find a club is called the Hilby Stingers. Welcome everyone, I'm so happy to see you all. And yes, it's World Pot Finders Day, so everyone that we're going to see is going to be dressed like a pot finder. And yes, that's why Auntie Kay is dressed like a little adventurer. <laughs> Let's get straight into our official welcome. Welcome, welcome to World Pathfinder Day 2020. My name is Joshua. My name is Noah. My name is Daniel. And we are the Turncrest Brothers from the Bahamas and the Great Hillview Pathfinder Club. We salute you and we are happy to welcome you. A happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for that welcome. <laughs> now, boys and girls, let us get into the attitude of prayer because talking to God means that we should respect and reverence going in his presence. It's prayer time and it's coming to us from a little prince who lives in the British Virgin Islands and his name is Josh. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Please join me as I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Please help us to be obedient and kind. Help us to eat what we have. And please make us do the right things. And whenever we do wrong, help us to start doing the right things. As I pray, I hope you will protect us through this day and night. Jesus name, amen. Now, by now we know that Auntie Kay will never start a program without prayer because talking to God is very important. Thank you so much, Prince Josh. Now, boys and girls, we're going to have two greetings from, you know what, I'm going to let them tell you who they are. On this World Pop Finders Day, we are praising God from whom all blessings flow. I'm just so excited to bring greetings to you. From the Great Northeastern Conference of Sunday Adventists, Venice, my name is Jerome Leacott, Youth Director for Northeastern Conference. We are also grateful and praising God and excited that we can come upon this Sabbath day to acknowledge all of our pathfinders around the world. And remember that if you have a heartbeat, God will have a plan for you. Pathfinders, be faithful and stay in the Word. Stay in the Word of God as you continue to do great exploits for him. God bless you on this Sabbath day. Keep faithful and true as we continue to see him and praise him when he comes. God bless you. Wow, could you believe it? 70 years we're celebrating of pathfindering all around the world. And we say to God be the glory. We just give thanks for all that he has done with the Pathfinder program. And we know that God is going to do a wonderful work even more so that he can soon come and take us to heaven with him. Once again, God bless you. On behalf of the South Bahamas Conference, we want to say to you, Happy World Pathfinder Day. Thank you very much for this greeting. Now it's time for a sing-along. Kia, what's going to be our first song? One of the orders God gives to his soldiers is to do what their mom and dad asked them to do. So, give me an O. O! Give me a B. B. Give me an E. E. Give me a Y. Y. And what's that spell? One more time. O B E Y. 
Something you can practice when you're riding in the car, sit still. Sit still. When your mom says go to bed, say I will. I will. When it's time to clean your room, you must pick up your toys. Remember that, that obedience brings joy. When you listen, when mom and dad say tell the truth, don't lie. Don't lie. When they say you've had enough, don't cry. Don't cry. Cause when you do the things you should, you'll find out it's true. Obedience is very good for you. Ah.
ist Teilhaben. Ein neuer von den Beautiful Arrows. Ich würde einige geben. Next up, up is Twitter. Enjoy! enjoyed those songs this week. I want to say thank you to Nia Beth, Ty, and Akil for introducing and doing such an awesome job. Now, boys and girls, prince and princesses, it's now time to hear Lesson 12 and its memory verse. Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabby Rose, here bringing you your members for today. It's taken from Leviticus 19, verse 11. Do not steal, do not lie, and most importantly, do not deceive one another. Happy Sabbath. Goodbye. Princess Gabrielle, thank you so much for sharing our memory verse for this week. Now, you know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping that all the other boys and girls who are watching and listening to this program at this time also learned their memory verse. If you did, awesome. Now, Princess Eva, do you have something to tell us? Hello everyone, my name is Eva Mildred Joseph and I live in the Bahamas. Let's turn on our listening ears as the Ventia comes with the Sabbath School story. Happy Sabbath! Jacob and Esau were twins. They looked different. They dressed differently. They even had different interests. They were opposite. Boys and girls, do opposites sound the same when you are twins? Not really. I always thought twins always like the same things and they do 
things the same. But look like in the Bible, Jacob and Esau did things differently. Let's read on. Esau loved to hunt. Jacob liked to stay at home and look after the family flocks and herds. Boys and girls, guess what? Before they were born, God spoke to their mother, Rebecca. He said that the older brother would serve the younger. She didn't know how this would happen, but she believed what God said. Isaac was now blind and old. He decided that it was time to give up a special blessing to his son. Rebecca reminded him of what God said, but Esau was Isaac's favorite, and Isaac was determined to give him the blessing. One day, Rebecca overheard Isaac talking to Esau. Esau, I am old. She heard Isaac say, said, I don't know how long I will live. Take your weapons and hunt some wild game for me. Prepare the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me. Then I will give you my blessing. As soon as Esau left, Rebecca called Jacob to her. She told him what was happening. Then she said, Don't worry, Jacob. I have a plan. Now go to your flock and bring me two of the best kind of goats. I will prepare food just the way your father likes. And then you could take it to him and get the blessing. Jacob replied, but he will know the difference. Esau is hairy, I am not. Father would know I, would, I was tricking him. He would curse me rather than bless me. If anyone should be cursed, it will be me. His mother responded, just go, go, and do as I tell you to. Rebecca gave Jacob some of Esau's clothes. And Jacob put them on. She also covered his hands and neck with goat skins. Boys and girls, do you know what goat skins feels like? I believe it'll feel itchy and smell. And especially if the goat is dirty. Ugh, I can't even imagine that. Then Jacob went to Isaac with the food Rebecca had prepared. Isaac heard Jacob entering the room. Who is it? He asked. Jacob, your firstborn! Lied Jacob. I have done as you told me, Father. Sit up and taste this good food and give me the blessing. How did you find the game so quickly? I asked Isaac. God helped me lied Jacob once again. Then said Isaac, come close so I can touch you. You sound like Jacob, but your hands feel like Esau. Are you really Esau? Yes, father, Jacob lied again. Then come and give me some food to eat, said Isaac. Jacob brought the meal to Isaac and Isaac ate. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come here, my son, and kiss me. Jacob went to his father and kissed him. <laughs> Isaac said, Satisfied at last, this smell of the field. And so it was that Isaac blessed Jacob. Jacob hurried away. And he had just left when Esau entered his father's tent. Father, here's the food you asked for. Isaac trembled. In a shaking voice, he asked, Who are you? I am Esau, your firstborn, Esau replied. Isaac asked, 
Then who was just him? Was it Jacob? Isaac knew then what had happened. He turned to Esau and said sadly, I blessed him. I blessed your brother Jacob. Esau was furious. Can't you bless me as well? Jacob cheated me out of my inheritance. Now he has cheated me out of your blessing. Can't you give me anything? Isaac sadly shook his head. The blessing has been given. I cannot take it away. Esau muttered as he left his father's tent. When my father dies, I will kill Jacob and get what is mine. Jacob knew he had done wrong. He and he was sorry. He felt sad. And his lies has caused problems for everyone. He should have waited. God had made a promise. He wouldn't have needed Jacob's help or Rebecca's either. What would happen now? Boys and girls, do you think we should be like Jacob? But my answer is no, because he should have waited on his blessing from God. And that's how we should be, waiting to receive our blessing from God. Happy Sabbath! That was an interesting story. Wow. There were so many areas where it was like, oh no, is he gonna? Will he? <gasps> he did? Wow. That was indeed a story. Felt like I was watching a movie. But I hope we would have learned from this story an important thing. I won't share it yet because Princess Joanna, she's going to tell us what she learned from the story. And then I will come and share what I also learned from this week's story. Hi, my name is Joanna Scarman and I'm from Naughty Luther Pathfinder Club. What I learned today is that we should not lie and always wait for God's blessings. Happy Sabbath! What a lesson indeed, Joanna. That, hey, lying mm -mm, never works out in the end. And that if we really wait on God, we will see His blessings, that they're the best blessings in our lives. We just need to be patient. So that's what I learned, that I need to be patient when waiting on the blessings of God. Now, Yes, the story was long this week, but I really hope you are still listening, because guess what? Quiz Kids is up next. Which brother stole from the other? Was it A, Nehemiah, B, Jacob, or C, Esau? B, Jacob. Which animal skin did Rebecca use? Was it A, a goat skin, B, horse skin, or C, cow skin? A, goat skin. Potfinders and adventurers, how did you do? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Great job, awesome. <laughs> now, guess what's coming up next? Andy Patty Pat with our object lesson. Hey boys and girls, do you see where I am? I'm in the middle of the ocean. I was out here fishing and having a good time. And then something happened. I looked at the gas gauge and it said zero. Zero on the gas gauge meant that we have no gas in the boat. And without gas in the boat, because it's a motorboat, how are we going to get back? My heart started beating and I got so scared. I can't swim all the way back there. And there's no gas in the boat. And then I looked on the captain and he, he told me, the gas gauge isn't working. As a matter of fact, it's lying because his gas tank is full of gas. Boys and girls, when we don't tell the truth, we make trouble for so many people. And we, may, we mislead others and make them uncomfortable, even afraid. God wants us to be honest all the time. Honest like my captain and not dishonest like the gas gauge. What are you gonna do? You gonna be honest for God? 
That gas gauge really did play a trick on you, Auntie Patty Pat, but I'm happy that you got the truth <laughs> in the end. Now, boys and girls, it's time to... Ask Pastor NASA! My name is Ezra Bardens from Mitchell Spring, Cape Town, South Africa. Pastor, will I have the same parents when we go to heaven? Hey, thank you so much for that question. Well, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13, our view of God is like a cloudy picture in a mirror. But later on, talking about heaven, we're going to see him face to face. We don't understand it all now, but later on, talking about heaven again, we're going to understand it all just as how God understands. So what this tells me is that in heaven, our brains are going to be expanded with knowledge and understanding so that we're going to be able to recognize our family members, our friends, even our parents. But it doesn't stop there because in heaven, Everyone who has a relationship with God is going to be a part of one great big family and God will be our father. Isn't that awesome that our families are going to be super, super big and we're going to have plenty, plenty, plenty people a part of this one great big family. I want to be a part of that big family. How about you? All you need to do is give your life to Jesus and you can be a part of that number two. Isn't that awesome? So one big family in heaven. Until next time. What a great question that was. I hope Pastor Nasa answered it for you. Did he? I really hope he did. Now, boys and girls, the program's coming to an end. It just feels, you know what they say when you're having fun, things just seem to go by so quickly. But you know what I'm happy for? Is that this fun can happen every Sabbath morning during our Sabbath school lesson time. Now, until next week, remember that God loves you, I love you, and that we should all be good boys and girls. And to end the program, we're going to do what? Have our prayer. We start with prayer and we end with prayer. So until next week, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. I want to thank God for his mercies to let us see another day. All had bowed as eyes closed as we come to pray. Therefore, Father in heaven, as we come before the throne of grace and mercy, I thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day. And Lord, I pray that you will please help us to be your servant throughout all generations. And Lord, I pray that you may please be with all the pathfinders and the adventurers and Lord, I pray that you will please protect us throughout all these COVID times. And Lord, I pray that you will please have COVID to go quickly. In your name, we thank you and I'm with us. Sabbath everyone and we'll see you all again next week.